Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Coding Together. My name is Vikas Oja. Today we will see another lead code problem that is binary tree level order traversal. So it's a medium level question and it's also a very popular question as you can see from the likes. So let's read the problem statement that we are given the root of a binary tree return the level order traversal of its node values i from level uh, i from left to right level by level so let's understand what do we mean by level by level or the bfs traversal so we start from the root node i level 0 then we go on the level 1 that is 9 and 20 the elements are 9 and 20 and then level 2 that is 15 and 7 so we traverse level by level so we'll visit 3 so we have to traverse from left to right so first we'll visit 3 then we will visit 9 then 20 then 15 and 7 so and also the each elements for each level right all the elements are at each level will go in different list so if you can see 3 is going in one list now when we jump to the next level 9 and 20 will go in the another list and 15 and 7 will go in the third list and finally we'll return the list of list uh, let's see the solution for this problem uh, see this level order level by level traversal is called bfs breadth first search breadth first search and for breadth first search we use q data structure right so we start with the root node so uh, at the start q is empty so we will add 3 in the q right and we also maintain lists at each level so this is level 0 this is level 1 and level 2 so uh, for uh, the level 0 we will maintain a list so we have added 3 right and the size of the queue is 1 so we have added 3 so we'll fetch out fetch 3 right and as we know the size of the queue is 1 so we'll see for 3 the left and the right children so the left and the right children are 90 and 20 so we'll add 9 and 20 in the queue and we'll add 3 in our first list for the level 0 now the level 0 is completed we have uh, completed our level 0 now we will check the size of the queue that is size is 2 so we have to iterate two times we will pick two elements from the queue so we'll first fetch 9 so for 9 what are the left and the right children for the 9 there is no left and right children so we will add that in the different uh, again the next list for level 1 now we will see the next element because we have the size 2 so we come uh, we took the, our first element and then we'll take our next element that is 20 so for 20 what are the left and the right children the left and right children are 15 and 7 right so we will add 15 and 7 so we will add first the left child and then the right child because we have to traverse from left to right so as we have to traverse from left to right at each level we'll add the left child first and then the right child so uh, our the next element is 20 is also done so we'll add into the list so for level 1 the list is also completed now we will see uh, the size of the queue no, now the size of the queue again is 2 right for the level 2 so we'll fetch two elements <coughs> so we will take out 15 so we'll see what are the left and the right children for 15 so for 15 there are no left and right children so we'll add in the list and then again the size is q uh, the size of the q is 2 so we'll fetch the another element that is 7 and we'll check the left and right children so there are no descendants or the children so we'll add seven in this and we'll finally have our list of list the level by level traversal elements ready so let's see the code part of it so we have initialized our resultant array that will be a list of list 
we have uh, uh, the data structure Q uh, for the BFS and we will first add our root element. So if the root is equal equal to null, we'll return result as it is. So it will be empty list. So we'll start the BFS. So we'll go till Q is not empty. We'll fetch the size at each level and we'll maintain a list for each level. So we'll traverse from zero to the size of the list. So the size that we calculated at each level, at each level, it represents the element, right? The elements in the queue. So first we will see, we'll peak uh, the first element from the queue. We'll check whether it has the left and the right descendants or not. And if the left child is not equal to null, then we'll add that into the queue. And if uh, the tree dot right is not equal to null, we'll add in the queue the tree dot right. And finally, we'll add the element into the queue. So once this for loop is over, right, we'll add the list uh, in the resultant list that we defined above. So at this for loop will run for each level. Right. So at level zero, it ran for one times at level one, it ran two times and at level uh, it, uh, at level three, it ran two times again. Right. So because at each level, at each level, the size of the queue defined the number of elements present at that level. And finally, once this while loop is over, we are done with the BFS we will return the res resultant. So let's run this solution. So yeah, test cases are passing. So let's talk about the time complexity for this time and space complexity. So as we are visiting each node of the tree, right? So the time complexity will be, will be order of n, right? So as we are visiting each node, right? So it will be order of n. So, so space complexity will be order of n again, because at each level, the elements are stored in the queue, right? So at level zero, the size of the queue was one. And at level one, the size of the queue was two because it had two elements. So the maximum number of elements that can be, uh, that can have, that we can have in the particular level, that will be obviously the last level, right? So here in the last level means all the leaf nodes will go in the, will go in the queue at a time. So last level, the queue will have the maximum elements will have the maximum elements. So the worst case will be order of n by 2 plus 1 because the last level will have n by 2 plus 1 elements, the maximum elements. So the worst case uh, it can have uh, if the tree is a well balanced binary tree that will be approximately again order of n. So hope you like this video and if you like this video, please share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.